All right. So there we've got uh, a straightforward question that we are going to consider. On question number six, we are given 6.1 on the grid. Uh, that is on an extra B. Plot the graph. Uh, that is the following points. Actually, plot the following two points and then join them. All right. So we've got uh, two things to consider to mark the points then also to join. All right. So the first point is negative three, four. So remember a point is given in terms also. Uh, we have got the y value on a point. So let's indicate our point, which is minus three, four. So as I said, this is x and we have got the y value. So like I said, guys, on the introduction that we need where x is minus three in the x-axis and where y is four in the y-axis. So x is minus three here, uh, y is four. So you can see that these two, they meet at a certain point here. Where they meet, that is where you are going to indicate the point that you are given. That's at X, which is minus three, and Y, which is a positive four. They meet at this point. Uh, that is the indication of the point, all right? Then you move on to another one, which is two minus one. So as we can see again, the same situation, X is two, and Y there is minus one. So we need where x is equivalent to two and y is minus one. X is two here, y is minus one. So these two, they meet at this point. Where they meet, we are going to mark a point that is two versus minus one. So this is one, two, three, and so on. So these are the two points only that you are given and you are asked to join uh, these two points after joining, uh, after marking these two points, then also you must join. All right, so let's see what are we going to have. I'm going to just try to minimize this one. All right, so we are going to obtain uh, something like this, all right? That is, if you join uh, the two points, you are obtaining a straight line, okay? Let's just leave it like that. Then let's consider uh, 6.2. We are now asked to determine the gradient of the line. So determining the gradient of the line, we can determine already because we've got the two points. We can use the movement method from the line that we are given, talking about uh, the decrease that is going to happen in Y over the decrease over the increase in X. As we can see from our diagram, there's a decrease in Y of a negative one from this point. That's a negative one. And X is increasing positive one. So meaning to say we can have our gradient as negative one. But is it the only way that you can do? We can use the formula, remember? Like I said before, the gradient, which is M, can be calculated from the formula. M is equal to the change in Y over the change in X. So that's Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. From these two points that we have, we are simply going to name X1, Y1. Uh, the other point is going to be X2, Y2. So from there, we can determine our gradient by substituting the y value, uh, y2. Here it's minus one, so that's uh, minus one, minus y1, which is positive four. So that is four over x2, our x2 in this case, that's a positive two, minus our x1, which is minus three. So we can simply use our calculator, in this case, that's determining uh, the gradient, or we can simplify stage by stage, that was going to be uh, negative five over a positive five, which is simply negative one, or you can use your calculator. So as you can see, we are obtaining the same gradient, just like uh, the previous case that I explained from the movement that you can have from your graph, the, 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 the change that is happening in X, uh, that is happening in Y and that change that is going to happen here in terms of X. So you start with the Y, then you move on to the X. So it's the change in Y over the change that is going to happen in uh, X, the change that is happening. Wow. How is Y changing from this point to this point? It's going down. It's a negative. How is X changing from this point to this point? It's going to the positive. So it remains as a one. So that is uh, what you can uh, use in that way. Then the last part, it was to determine the equation of the line in this format, which is uh, y is equal to mx plus c. We do understand that in this format that we are given, 
M represents the gradient. That is what we understand about this format. This is the gradient. What about C? It also represents a special part about the line. That is where the line crosses the y-axis. So it is the y-intercept. We have got everything in this case. The gradient is M, which is the one that we calculated. So that is minus 1x plus C, the y-intercept where the line crosses or passes on the y-axis. According to this line that we have, we can see that our graph here crosses the y-axis at this point where y is equal to 1. That is the y-intercept, remember, where the line crosses or passes the y-axis. y is equal to what? To 1. So we have got the y-intercept there, which is 1. So that means we've got the equation minus 1 times x, that's minus x plus a 1. Just like that, we have got our equation. All right, let's say you didn't notice that uh, about the y-intercept, that c is the y-intercept. I can take that y-intercept. All right. Remember when I talked about uh, the flow diagram, uh, the flow diagrams, when you're determining the rule, is it different from this? No, that's not different. It is the same thing. You are having y is equal to mx plus whatever that you're given. Remember when I was indicating uh, in this way, y is equal to the constant difference times x plus c. You used that condition to determine or to calculate the value of c. So using the same consideration, you can also determine this C using that way. Knowing that M is the gradient, that part you need at least to know that M is the gradient. You substitute M, which is minus 1 times X, which is minus X plus C. So to determine this C, you can substitute any point that you are given of these two points that you have. There's this point and this point or any point on the graph. So you're going to say any. So I'm going to take the first one minus three, four. Any point of your choice, you substitute that. Well, how do you substitute? This is X, remember, this is Y. So in place of Y, we are going to substitute the Y value that we are having from our point. Y is what? Is four, which is equal to minus X. What is the value of X from our point? Our point indicates that X is minus three plus C. So we're supposed to obtain the same value of C which is a positive one, just like what we got there. All right, so four is equal to minus, minus, that's a positive. Meaning to say we've got positive three there. So that is positive three plus C. Transpose or take this three to the other side of the equation. The moment that it jumps the equal sign, remember, it changes the sign. So it's four minus three, which is a one. So that means one is equal to C. So you can determine the same value of C by using this uh, concept, by substituting any point, you are going to obtain same value, which is one, or you can simply take that C by understanding your graph that C represents or indicates the y-intercept. So it is not a value to be calculated. It is a value that we simply need to take from our graph. Then we substitute into uh, the format of the equation that we are given of y is equal to mx as long you are working with this as long it is this format m is the gradient c is the y index as long you are dealing with this format all right so let's revise as much questions as we can uh till we meet again <laughs>